we're now ready to create the tables in the database using the Alembic Migrations workflow. You will notice that the commands look a bit like Git commands. Initially, you'll need to write this down, but once you do it a couple of times, you'll remember them. So we'll create our first migration commit by running pipenv run alembic revision dash dash autogenerate dash m create counter table. Thanks to the target metadata setting we added earlier, Alembic can view the status of the database and compare against the table metadata in the application, generating the obvious migrations based on a comparison. This is achieved using the auto-generate option to the Alembic revision command, which places so-called candidate migrations into our new migrations file. Make sure your MySQL server is up and running. Then execute the command and you should see something like the following. Check that a new version file was created and take a look. As you can see, there are three sections. One that holds what revision this is and how to get to the previous one, an upgrade list of commands, and a downgrade list of commands. Always take a look at the newest revision file so that you can spot any inconsistencies or issues. This looks good to me, so let's apply these changes on the database by doing pipenv run alembic upgrade head. Great, it went smoothly, which means the tables were created. We can log in into MySQL and check the tables. Use counter, show tables. We can see the counter table was created, but notice there's an Alembic version table. This table holds the current migration version. That hash matches with our latest revision value. Exit the MySQL server and we should be ready to run our application. Just do pipenv run quart run. If you open localhost 5000, you will see the first number of our counter. Refreshing the page will increase the counter value. And there you have it, your first Quart database-driven application.